This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV. We're in Newcastle here, head of uh, the Rampage show uh, this Saturday night live on Box Nation. With me, I've got British champion John Lewis Dickinson, Hello, defending mate, his you? title and fighting for the Commonwealth against Overall McKenzie. How are you, John? I'm good, thanks. So, this is your hometown? Yes, I. You might have to give me some pointers about where not to go, <laughs> where to go. Stay away from the big market. Yeah? What's that? Stay away from the where? big market. What's that? It's a bit rough. Really? We well, nah, like that sort of thing. It's a good night out. Yeah. <laughs> just point me in the direction of any easy women, if you know easy what I mean. Women, any right. easy women, just point, just go look, just go there and That's it'll be alright. Right. That'll be alright. <laughs> um, another great night going to be here in Newcastle. Right. Um, like I said, you're defending your, your, your title against the hard hitting Oval yeah. McKenzie. What are your thoughts about this fight, first of all, John? Um, well, I think he's, he's a tough, obviously, tough opponent, you know, big hitter. Um, for me to get where I want to be, I've got to beat the likes of Oval McKenzie, so. I don't want to take no, no easy fights and I believe it's a good step and something to put us obviously where I want to be and that's world titles, you know. So beat him on Saturday, get the Commonwealth title and I'm, I'm a step closer towards the big one. Mm. Did you watch him in, against Tony Conquest in his last fight? I did, I. Um, I mean, done well and obviously got him out there in the fifth round but I, I feel like Tony done the wrong kind of thing. You know? he, he left himself open for the right hand, which is everyone knows it's Oval, Oval's big shot. That's, that's the thing with uh, in a fight against Oval, you could be comfortably ahead, but because he has that, that punch power, you, you've always got to be on your game. Aye, that's it. Um, I, I suppose it's just 100% concentration from, from the first bell. You've just got to keep your mind on the game. Um, and I suppose it was, it was a similar thing to when I boxed Neil Dawson last time. Obviously, he was a big puncher. He could take people out quick. I mean, he, he took Conquest out quicker than Oval did. Um, it's it's just keeping your head on what you're going to do, not like let the crowd take control or whatever. You know, just just focusing for the full full time. That was your last fight, wasn't it, against uh, uh, it was I Dawson? Was obviously, back in uh, back in the arena as well. Yeah. So this will be the second time I've fought at the arena. Yeah. Um, another big hitter, but. It keeps me on my game, you know, so I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. I mean, I, I've not been to a show here in Newcastle, it's been my first one, but it, it must be great for you to be fighting here in, in, in your home place. And like I said, it's uh, a place that hasn't had enough uh, high profile boxing, so uh, it's getting it now, though. I am. Um, I mean, I've boxed the North East a few times, but it's always been over the Sunderland area, like Rate Meadows and things. So we last, the last time was that was the first time I've actually boxed in uh, like Newcastle. So it was, it was brilliant, you know, the atmosphere was great and to, to be fighting here again on another massive card is, is great, look, really look forward to it. You spoke there about, you know, where you want to reach and, and, and levels you want to get to, but realistically, how far or how long before you are off that British scene and, and on to some sort of higher level? Well, I mean, obviously I won the, uh, the Lonsdale belt outright in the last one and I didn't know whether I was going to defend it again or not. Obviously the, the opportunity come up to fight Oval his Commonwealth and stick my British in the mix as well uh, and once this fight's out the way I'm looking to move on European and world level you know I've I think obviously once I beat Mackenzie I think I've cleaned up pretty much domestically in, in my division. Mm. What do you think about the introduction of uh, the well-known light heavyweights from Britain that have moved into the cruiserweight mix in Cleverly and Bellew what do you think about that? I, I think it's great um, obviously I was uh, excited me but when, when they come up to my weight you know it puts a bit of spice into it uh, and they're the kind of fights that I want to be having. Obviously, once I get past Mac Mackenzie, that them's the kind of fight, like Bellew, Cleverly, and, and fighting for world titles, you know? Mm. I mean, um, they both have had their, their fights uh, recently, uh, Nathan Cleverly against uh, Sean Corbin and uh, Tony Bellew against Valerie Brudov, but they're kind of gearing up to a big showdown. They're fighting in July, and then I think later on in the year, they're two are gonna fight each other, so that it's bringing back a, a mix to the cruiserweight market. It is, I like I say, it's exciting times, and I'm I'm pleased to be amongst it, you know. And obviously, like I say, that they they're going to clash at the end of the year. It looks that way anyway, and uh, hopefully, I can be part of it. Maybe maybe it's next year, you know, and, and and get a fight with one one of one of them. Who do you think wins that rematch, and who would you prefer to fight out the two of them? I I couldn't pick between them to tell you the truth, um, and. I'm, I'm not really in. I'm not really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick one of one of the other. You know, um, a fight with either one would be brilliant. I mean, they've been fighting a world class, and for me to to get up there and, and fight them would be would be great for me. So that's either either or. All right. Well, listen, John. Thanks for talking to IFL TV. Um, is your brother here this weekend? He's not. He's working. He'll be at the fight though. He'll be at the fight. Yeah.
try and get him to say more than six words this time. Old oh, Travis, if you're watching, to get a get a speech prepared because I've seen some videos of him like singing and stuff on his Facebook, and I think I know. he don't, you know, even if he wants to sing on here, he no, can tell him. It's hard work to get a few words out of like, but there's a couple of boxes it's, like it's, that. Sometimes you catch him, he'll, he'll he'll stand for hours talking like, but really, die. I think I think after he boxes, he's normally a bit ready. He just wants to get away. And yeah, out. it's not. Some, <laughs> that's exactly right, and sometimes that like weigh-ins and things like that where right. it's not the most appropriate time to talk to boxers they just want to like that's it i think go off. i think that's what it is obviously when you're at the weigh-in and like your head's your head's on the fight and then after the fight you just want to get you want to get yourself changed well he's not in. fighting this week so obviously uh, I you think know. You, you'll probably find a different travis this week and yeah. when, you, when you when you come up so you probably you probably won't be able to get rid of him <laughs> <laughs> all right listen john thanks for talking to iphone tv and wish you the best yeah. of luck we look forward to it. it's a cracking fight with you on oval this saturday which will be live on box nation as well Yep. So best of luck mate. Thank you very much. All Cheers. Right. Cheers mate.